Throughout the two-year Godolphin Flying Start course, the trainees will complete four modules as part of their accreditation through the University College Dublin Michael Smurfit Business School. Their time in the USA working on their practical rotations falls into the Thoroughbred Production and Management module of the course. I've been living in Newmarket. Been living or that's where you're from? No, I'm from <laughs> down southwest. I'm Devon. Tom, you're from? I'm from England as well. Basic nutrients required for all classes of horses are energy, protein, vitamins, minerals. The program is designed to provide a comprehensive overview and entry level experience in many different areas of the industry. Their schedule, which is a mixture of lectures, visits, hands on experience, and networking opportunities, supports that endeavor and ensures that while they spend time in the U.S., they get a well rounded education. One of the classes they attend while they are here is an equine nutrition class led by Dr. Lori Lawrence at the University of Kentucky. The Godolphin Flying Start students each spend a week rotation with me. Some ride out, some don't, but they will be here for five mornings. They will learn all about bandaging, what we do in the rehabilitation barn, our therapy programs, our training programs, our feed programs, supplements, everything. And we hope to make it as an enjoyable experience for them. Breakfast time is 10, supper time is 4.10, twice a day, and they get all the hay they want. During their time in Kentucky, they will spend 12 weeks rotating through all of the Godolphin farms, our training barn, our main office, and a few outside partner operations, all supporting their education in the U.S. breeding industry. Uh, our daily responsibilities include coming to the barn at 6.30 in the morning and helping with teasing the mares, uh, make sure they're ovulating and on schedule. Uh, after that, we report to a barn full of mares and foals, uh, help with any barn cleaning that needs to be happening, uh, assisting in mares and checking them, and just checking the overall status of the foals. It's been a really enjoyable placement so far. It's the first time I've worked with mares and foals, and it's amazing to come every day and see new life be born. When they are out on the farms, they start around 6 a.m. each day and spend the morning gaining experience in all aspects of horsemanship, whether it is learning to care for new foals, working with our racehorses on the track, working with stallions in the breeding shed, or observing special cases with one of our veterinarians on the farm. I've been doing my rotation at Dubai Millennium Farm this week, which is one of Godolphin's yearling divisions. Today I've been holding for the farrier while he's trimming the yearling's feet, which gets done every four weeks. I've been going around with manager Brian Purvis, making sure all of the yearlings are coming in well, they're walking in well, and they're all happy and healthy, um, looking at different conformation. Grow the foot in the wrong places and make them, make them track different, keeps an eye on their conformation. You're controlling the breakover, you're keeping the, the foot underneath the limb. It's, uh, it's not complicated, it's complex. During their time in the office at John Abel, they will spend time in the sales, marketing, booking, and racing departments learning how our operation runs, 
and how we manage our bloodstock here in the U.S. I don't know, can you see the little red flowers starting on that thing? Yeah. Yes, okay. that's the hen bit. Oh, yeah. at, the, at the ground level. Yeah. Perfect. So that's our nimble will stubble. And it's kind of tricky to see, but even though it's a warm season grass, it's already green at the base. Okay, this is all of our Kentucky bluegrass. Tell you what, if someone wants to pluck that off at ground level, get the whole stalk. Yes. Yeah, orchard, yeah. Orchard grass come it's got this wide blade. It comes out of the ground flat. You can actually see the flatness of the stem. Also to my eye, it has this bluish green color that makes it a little different than the bluegrass or the fescue. And we'll find some tall fescue in this field and it comes out of the ground round. But the leaves are very, very soft, very folded, and it comes out flat. Today we had a pasture management lecture and pasture walk with Roger Allman from the farm clinic. It was good to learn about all the different species of grasses and soil types here in Kentucky and how they vary on all the Godolphin farms. So far our time in America has been really good. Um, we've got the chance to visit loads of farms and actually work on those farms as well. So Godolphin gives us the chance to go to all the big race meetings. Very much looking forward to what's ahead, such as the Keenet meets, the Kentucky Derby, so I'm very excited. Mm -hmm.